Gladiator 2 feels like a pointless technical exercise, soullessly beating out reference after reference with little of its own to say. It feels almost like a parody of the original, what Mission Impossible 2 was to its prequel, where the first movie's lines and dialogue were near poetic and romantic even, making memorable moments and iconic lines without even trying. This feels technically decent as far as visuals and action go, but bankrupt for any real beating heart or reason. Strength and honor? Copy and paste is more like it. This film is a contrived mess, spending most of its two and a half hour runtime trying to make up connections to the first movie and its characters, shoehorning in scenes that feel like reshoots with recasted characters and child actors, constantly repeating phrases and iconic lines from the first movie like a bad spokesperson resorting to a cliché to get a reaction, and not to mention imitating exact plot beats and narrative threads that have all the same results as they did in the original film. To be honest, I thought about walking out of the film multiple times about halfway through. I was hit with far too many face-palming moments to take this film that seriously. The twins ruling Rome feel like melodramatic, overacted, and cartoonishly villainous replacements for Commodus, where he was flawed, melodramatic, but believable. I don't get to see how the twins really connect to their world, other than lashing out and demanding blood at every waking moment and scene. Denzel Washington has always been an enigma of a choice for me, and I'd hope watching the film would sway my concerns and unease. I really liked the actor, of course, but I just didn't know what to expect, and now... The best way I can put it is, he stands out. It's like he was told to reprise his role from the movie Training Day, except this time in Rome. I thought Pascal actually did alright. He puts on his general voice and does a decent job portraying a noble man struggling between his bloody duties and the life of peace that he actually wants. An echoing sentiment to Maximus, but he doesn't have nearly as much pull or weight as his counterpart nor does he have any real effect on the plot besides from the beginning battle sequence. After that, he's far too kind for his own good and for the world that he's in. And when he goes out, I sadly couldn't feel anything much from, oh well, down he goes. Connie Nelson makes a graceful reprise and it feels, well, much like old times, and now she's wife to Pascal's general. Finally, we have Lucius, played by Paul Mascal, who doesn't really come off as anything more than guy in the main character role. He feels like a rushed, generic answer to the sequel's protagonist. He's the son of Maximus and Lucilia, who's gone into hiding under a different name, just for Rome to eventually find and destroy his new home, killing his wife, and then unknowingly taking him in as a slave. His fighting proficiency in mystique gets him noticed by Macrinus, or Denzel Washington, who makes him an offer to fight as a gladiator for him, and if he does well, he'll get him close enough to the people he wants revenge on. Whose head could I give you that would satisfy this fury? The general will do. Throughout a few Spectacle Coliseum games, Lucilia makes a connection of who he is, and after a little bit of denial, Lucius drops the act and goes along with his mother's plan for overthrowing the emperors. Coups are formed almost as fast as they're disrupted. Does any of this sound familiar yet? Denzel ends up turning the twins on each other, playing them both until he ends up in the position that he wants. And the final battle sees a few familiar faces dive before an eventual showdown between the son of Maximus and a slithering senate. The end sees Lucius preparing for new beginnings. With his mother now dead, he's asking his father for guidance. It's not a terrible movie. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen. It's just... A giant slap in the fucking mouth for anyone who's familiar with Ridley Scott's work back then. I went back to rewatch the original Gladiator, theatrical cut. Memories started flooding back from when I was a kid at Grandma's house watching these memorable scenes. The lighting, the set, the costumes, and the feel of it all. I fucking love this movie. Even now, I love the many lines of wisdom spoken throughout the whole thing. I love the dialogue and how sometimes it can seem even poetic or romantic. I love the performances from each actor, the blocking of scenes. I even love the little details of how the extras feel like they're actually working people who are mentally in these circumstances. This movie had even the little things down with some focus and cohesion. I love this movie's message. That's something I think will always be relevant no matter what time, year, and place. It's humbling, grounded, and it's embedded into every ounce of this movie's soul. The mindset of this movie is so different from the philosophies of movies and entertainment nowadays. I miss that. Maximus was just like a regular guy. Yeah, he happened to be really, really good at his job, but he was just a regular guy and he was very likable because he was noble. He, he was simple and the story was super simple and the story yet felt so full of heart and every scene felt like a piece of an epic. Every scene had so much to tell and give. With this one, with Gladiator 2, you don't get that at all. It feels like a filler scene almost all the way through. And then when shit's happening, it's so bland, rushed, 
forced, undeserved. I feel like the beginning of this movie was incredibly rushed. It was like trying to hurry and set up these plot points, set up these beats, set up these characters, but none of them have any heart. None of them have any merit. This whole movie felt like filler trying to get to the point and it doesn't really start moving until the last 30 minutes of the movie. Anyways, I think that's enough ranting for today. I give the movie a 6. Honestly, I'm considering a 5.9. Wow. Just wow. You want to know something funny? Apparently, they've been working on this movie for about 25 years. A lot of different ideas have come and gone, but the ones that have stuck were, interestingly enough, the more fantasy-leaning ideas involving Maximus being reincarnated, being in the spirit realm, and there was an idea where he's an immortal Roman soldier to destroy Christianity. And apparently, he goes through world wars and ends up working at the Pentagon. I have no idea what the fuck that movie would have been like. If you made it this far into my video, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Please consider leaving a like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Have you seen the first movie or have you just seen this one? And I'll see you guys next time.